क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स ऑफ एक्सरसाइज सेवन पॉइंट टू द क्वेश्चन से इज इफ वन कॉमा टू फोर कॉमा फाइव एक्स कॉमा सिक्स एंड थ्री कॉमा फाइव आर द वर्टिस ऑफ अ पैरलोग्राम टेक अप इन ऑर्डर यू हैव टू फाइंड एक्स एंड वाई सो इट इज गिवन दैट इफ फोर पॉइंट ए बी सी डी आर द वर्टिस ऑफ अ पैरलोग्राम एंड द कोर्डिनेट्स आर गिवन टू यू यू हैव टू प्रूव दैट See that this, these are the vertices of a parallelogram. Okay, so uh, to solve these kind of problems, you must know the properties of these quadrilaterals that I have already discussed in the previous videos. So specifically, there are four figures, and you must know the property of each one. So the first figure is this parallelogram. The second one is rhombus. and third one is rectangle and the fourth one is square so you have to learn the properties of all four figures so now if i ask you what are the properties of a parallelogram then you will say that in parallelogram opposite sides are parallel so this is the first property so using this property you can prove that the these four coordinates are parallelogram okay uh, sorry uh, this is already given to you a parallelogram and you have to find x and y so if this is a parallelogram again you must know uh, the properties okay uh, so here in parallelogram opposite sides are parallel and equal so in that case You can find the distance between these two points and these two points, and because these two lines are of equal length, then you can equate these two, and you will get a linear equation. Okay. Similarly, the distance between these two lines must be equal. Again, equating these two, you will again get a linear equation, and solving those two linear equations simultaneously will get your answer. Means you will able to know the value of x and y. Okay. the other thing here is there is another property regarding parallelogram that the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other means if i draw this diagonal and if i draw another diagonal then these will bisect each other means this will be the midpoint for this line then only this can divide this line into two equal parts so this will act um, as a midpoint for this line similarly this line and this line must be equal in that case this will again act will act as a midpoint for this line okay so in other in another word we can say that this will be the midpoint for this line as well as for this line so using this property you can find the value of x and y this will be comparatively shorter method than the previous one i have told you so let's find the midpoint for line a and c okay now what is the midpoint formula if you want to find the midpoint the coordinate of the first point it will be x1 plus x2 upon 2 now if you want to find the coordinate for the y That will be y1 plus y2 upon 2. So now we are finding the midpoint for AC. So to find the midpoint for AC, it will uh, the coordinate for this will be for x. It will be x1 plus x2. So x will will be x1 plus x2 upon 2. And for y, it will be y1. That is 2. Y two that is six upon two. So it should be two plus six upon two. Okay. Further solving this, it will be eight and divided by two will be four. So here the coordinate of this midpoint for this AC line will be one plus x upon two comma four. Okay. Now similarly. Find the midpoint for this BD, and in that case, 
for BD, coordinate of X will be X1, that is 4, plus X2, that is 3 upon 2. Further solving this, it will be 7 upon 2. And for y coordinate, it will be y1 plus y2, that is 5 plus y upon 2. So, for this line, the midpoints are 7 by 2, the coordinate of the midpoints are 7 upon 2 and 5 plus y upon 2. And I have already told you that this will be the midpoint for both the lines. So obviously the coordinate of this point must be equal here. So x coordinate must be equal to this coordinate and y coordinate must be equal to this coordinate. So equating the values, so cancel this, the value of x will be shifting this one to that side, it will be one minus 1, so the value of x should be 6. Before this, you can write down the reason behind this as the diagonals of the parallelogram bisect each other, so the midpoint must be same for both the diagonals. Okay. Now in the second, it is 4, the y coordinate must be equal to 5 plus y upon 2. Okay. Now cross multiply this, 2 multiply this will be 8. So the value of y will be when 5 is shifted to that side, it will be minus 5. So the y will be equal to 3. So here the value of x and y must be 6 and 3. If these four are the coordinate of other, uh, if these four are the vertices of the parallelogram. So this is how we can solve this particular question. I hope you have understood this one. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. And if you have any problem in maths, you can directly contact us. Our phone number, email address and the WhatsApp number is given below in the description. And if you want to know what are the properties, you can see the previous videos. Thank you.